here doing this. So what we're doing here is we're going to remove a next one on, and what I've noticed over time is that these can get to be a little bit adventurous in terms of they uh, tend to want to slip and we tend to go digging for them. They're in the subcutaneous and it's a kind of slippery area here. So I've developed a new technique um, that seems to work a little bit better. Now it starts just the same as you might expect. You mark where that next pun on is and then you're going to put a little lidocaine in. Um, so that's what we're going to start with. And then what's going to be different about this is we're going to use actually a biopsy punch to make the opening. So we're just put a little traction on the proximal end of this next one on and we're just putting a little light cane. This will sting. Okay? Mm -hmm. And again, you want to make sure you put that underneath the next plan rod or it will tend to want to push it down. So, so far it's the same as what I anticipate most people are doing in terms of this procedure. Okay, so we have prepped this area with Provodone. We do wipe that off because otherwise um, you can tend to tattoo your patient, which is not usually the desired outcome. So what I'm doing here is I'm palpating the, dis the proximal end of this next one on. And as you can see, like most of them, they come up almost like a little um, splinter here. So I have a number four punch, and what I'm going to do is I'm putting this in about a 45. Could you uh, put traction beside that? Remember last time? At about a 45 degree angle uh, to the next one on. Again, you want to palpate and see where that next one on is. And this part, you know, you take a couple of minutes just to make sure. So don't move it because then you'll move the next one. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right, good. We're all ready. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right. So then this skin is, of course, very soft. So kind of keeping in touch okay. with where that next plan on is. We're just putting this punch in okay. mm -hmm. around the tip. Just a little bit of tender. <laughs> and you okay? Yeah. And then the next plan is going to want to come right up into the punch. There we go. So you can feel you're feeding right there. And then as we take it off, see, it's right there. I'm going to have my assistant, since I'm, again, palpating the proximal end, grasp the end of that. Now, often we have to do a little bit of dissection. Do we have our scalpel here? Mm -hmm. Where is it? It's right over on the thing I was hoping that we On didn't. what thing? Over there. Pause it, please. Recording. Yep. Unfortunately, we didn't have the scalpel right ready, so we just... She's, uh, my assistant's just putting a little bit of traction on there, and we just dissect a little bit where the next plan on is wanted to adhere, a little bit to the tissue in here. And it just pulls out nicely. And we're left with just a minimal opening, as you can see, very little, if any, bleeding. And then we can close that up with a Steri strip. So I call this the Ludwig technique, just because I've never had a technique named after me. It's much easier on the patient than all the digging around um, and incising that we usually do. Pretty superficial wound here, as you can see, <laughs> and we're all done.